good morning and welcome you all to this session of solving problem on steam nozzle problem 2 dry saturated steam at a pressure of 15 bar enters in a nozzle and is discharged at a pressure of 1.5 bar find the velocity of steam when the initial velocity of the steam is negligible see this is a conversion nozzle one is the inlet and two is the outlet steam enters through one and leaves at two next we have to write the given data the dry saturated steam so initially the steam is dry saturated and which is at a pressure of 15 bar so initial pressure p1 equal to 15 bar discharge to a pressure of 1.5 bar so final pressure p2 equal to 1.5 bar i have to find out the final velocity of steam so velocity of steam leaving the nozzle c2 when the initial velocity of the steam is negligible so c1 is the initial velocity of steam which is negligible therefore c1 equal to 0 before going to solve this problem we have to know the formula for finding the velocity of steam leaving the nozzle c2 equal to square root of 2 into h1 minus h2 plus c1 square H1 is the enthalpy of steam at the inlet in joules per kilogram. H2 is the enthalpy of steam leaving the nozzle in joules per kilogram. C1 is the initial velocity of steam at the entry of nozzle. This equation can be obtained from the steady flow energy equation. H1 plus C1 square by 2 plus G is at 1 plus dQ by dm equal to H2 plus C2 square by 2 plus G is at 2 plus dWx by dm. Here H1 and H2 are the enthalpy values at the inlet and exit of the conversion nozzle, and C1 and C2. are the velocity of steam at the inlet and the exit of the nozzle respectively and g is at 1 and g is at 2 are the potential energy of steam at the entry of the nozzle and the exit of the nozzle respectively then dq by dm is the heat transfer and dwx by dm is the work transfer so we know nozzle does not produce or absorb any work therefore dwx by dm is neglected then assume the nozzle is a well insulated device therefore no heat transfer across the system boundary therefore dq by dm is also equal to 0 now we know the steam entering and the exit are the are at the same level therefore the change in potential energy g is at 1 g is at 2 values are also equal to 0 so after neglecting all these terms the equation is reduced to h1 plus c1 square by 2 equal to h2 plus c2 square by 2 from this equation we have obtained this velocity equation now this equation can be rewritten as c2 equal to square root of 2000 into h1 minus h2 plus c1 square here we have to multiply the h1 minus h2 value by 1000 so we know from the steam table and molier diagram we get the value of specific enthalpies h1 and h2 in kilojoule per kilogram so for converting kilojoule per kilogram to joules per kilogram we have to multiply that value with 1000 
in our problem the value of initial velocity c1 is neglected therefore this equation can be reduced to c2 equal to square root of 2000 into h1 minus h2 where h1 is the enthalpy of steam at the inlet of the nozzle in kilojoule per kilogram and h2 is the enthalpy of steam at the exit of the nozzle in kilojoule per kilogram. Now we solve this problem using steam tables. Solution In our problem at state 1 the steam is dry saturated and at a pressure P1 equal to 15 bar. So we know when the steam is dry saturated then the value of specific enthalpy H1 equal to Hg1 and S1 specific entropy is equal to Sg1. So now we have to find out the value of Sg1 and Hg1 from steam tables corresponding to a pressure of 15 bar. We have to find out the value of Hg1. So Hg1 is equal to 2789.9 kilojoule per kilogram and Sg1 equal to 6.441 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. We know the process takes place in steam nozzle is isentropic. Therefore, entropy S1 is equal to S2 which is equal to 6.441 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Now at state 2, the pressure P2 equal to 1.5 bar. So we know if the steam is dry saturated at inlet, then it should be wet at the outlet. If the steam is wet, then the formula for finding the enthalpy H2 equal to HF2 plus X2 into HFG2. So we can obtain the values of HF2 and HFG2 from steam table. But before that we have to know the value of x2. So for finding the value of x2 we have to use this equation s2 equal to sf2 plus x2 into sfg2. So we know s2 is equal to s1 because the process takes place in nozzle is isentropic. And sf2 and sfg2 values we can get from the steam table. So now from the steam table corresponding to a pressure of 1.5 bar, first we have to find out the values of HF. HF is equal to 467.1 kilojoule per kilogram and HFG1 is equal to 226.3 kilojoule per kilogram. Then SF2 equal to 1.433 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin and SFG2 is equal to 5.790 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. See, we know S1 equal to S2 which is equal to 6.441 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. S2 is equal to SF2 plus X2 into SFG2. So now substituting the value of S2 and SF2 and SFG2 values obtained from the steam table. So substitute all the three values in this equation. We get X2 is equal to 0 0.86. Now we know H2 equal to HF2 plus X2 into HFG2. So substitute the value of X2 and the values obtained from the steam table HF2 and HFG2 in this equation we get H2 equal to 2381.7 kilojoule per kilogram. Now we know the velocity of steam leaving the nozzle C2 equal to square root of 2000 into H1 minus H2. So 
we have found out the values of h1 and h2 using steam tables now substitute these values in this equation we get c2 equal to 903.54 meters per second so the final velocity of steam leaving the nozzle c2 equal to 903.54 meters per second thank you